Hey everyone, Sean Clement here, Wisdom in Golf at our wonderful indoor facility at the Richmond Hill Golf Club. And yeah, we're very, very pleased to have it, especially we received uh, 22 centimeters of snow yesterday. It's very snowy and windy and cold out there, but we're nice and toasty warm in here, especially the sun's coming through the, the garage doors. Today we're doing a redo of my putting secrets video. And I have an even bigger secret for you, but now it's going to be, it's out of the bag. This, I'm going to show you this amazing new grip called the Tupper. And it was uh, designed by a, a, a good friend of mine who is an engineer and, and an awesome, uh, very uh, astute student of the game. And you'll understand why. It's been, it's been a, a long time since I've been able to talk about a technical side of the game uh, that, I, that I think is extremely innovative. But... You know, like many of you will say, well, why didn't, I, why didn't I think of that? Okay, so we're going to start with the grip. So we get a nice close-up of the grip here. You'll notice that the shaft, as it enters this grip, is going underneath basically the name and is ending up right at my finger there, which means that the meat of the grip is above the shaft. Well, duh! This is exactly how we want to grip it, right? We're not gripping it like we normally would in a full swing where the heel pad of the hand would be on top. We want the grip to be running right through the center of the hand. And because the meat of the grip is on top, we're able to wrap the fingers beautifully around the grip and it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous fit. So now when I take the rest of it, all I'm going to do is open up my index finger, overlap with my pinky finger on top of my middle finger here, so the middle finger will feel like it's filling the palm of my right hand, and then I'll wrap the rest of my fingers around the grip. So from down the line, we now have the grip, or the shaft of the putter, coming straight out of my forearms properly, courtesy of the people at Tupper. So I really appreciate this, this design. It is just amazing. And for those of you who want cross hand, phenomenal. So you'll see how my lead hand fits beautifully right there. And then I'll just drop the other hand underneath and it fits just superbly. So I'm just now swinging back and through. So technically, if, we want to, if you want to look at technique, now that my my shaft is coming straight out of my forearms. Now I get my posture, so I throw the hips back. My arm putter unit, which feels even more like a unit now, is hanging from my shoulders, and now it feels like the whole thing can track its, its line beautifully. Now I'm not trying to go on a straight line. I'm not trying to go on an arc or a straight back and straight through. That would be a manipulation. If I let my arm putter unit hang from my shoulders, and I just allow it to swing back and through without hitting my rib cage. So from the front here, you'll notice as I swing back and through, my, I'm not allowing the inside of my left arm to hit my rib cage going back, and I'm not allowing my right arm to hit my rib cage coming through. So it is a free arm swing with my arm putter unit. If I were to swing farther, then you'll notice that the body will have to start moving to accommodate the rib cage moving out of the way. But you'll notice that as I allow the body to turn, that the arm putter unit doesn't come off its arc. If my upper arm hits my rib cage, well, now everything is diverted offline. So if I don't allow the arms to hit the rib cage and I allow the body to move in a way that will not allow this to happen, then I've got momentum flowing beautifully in the direction I want to roll the ball. So, now that I have this posture, I need to bring a golf ball to it, okay? So, I allow it to hang, and I'm going to dock myself with a golf ball. So, here we go. So, I feel the arm putter unit hanging from my shoulders. Notice how when I approach that ball, if I go face on towards you, let it hang, bring it in. Now I can adjust to my ball position. See how that works? I don't want to you know, 
finagle the ball and then have to try and put the putter behind the ball. Now it's, I'm manipulating the putter to meet that position. Let it hang from the shoulders. If you want to put more weight on the front foot, that's fine. Now notice how the low point is moved forward. That's where everything's going to square up as well because it's a, a, a wonderful little arc, a very minuscule arc that's hardly noticeable. And so now everything's hanging here. So now if I want to dock myself with the weight against my front foot, it would be here. And when you're putting, because we're rolling the ball, you could park the weight more on the back foot. So notice now it's hanging here. Now the low point is back there. So now I'm going to move over here, bring that in. I can leave the weight on my back foot, no big deal, but notice how it's hanging there. So now I can place my ball in front of that. Now I know that the ball is going to start on the line that I'm aimed on. So I take my perpetual motion back and through, bring that in, and now I'm going to feel, if I allow momentum to roll this ball forward, does it feel like the ball's gonna enter? It's gonna be a little break here. It's a little squirrely break as it gets close to this hole. I have to come in at the right pace where the ball's just gonna die into the hole and you'll see the ball nudge in from the right-hand side. So I wanna feel like the momentum is gonna take this ball just to the right and then at the end, it's gonna enter around five o'clock if six o'clock is straight in. So I see how I want it to roll in and I let momentum roll the ball in the direction I want it to go. So when I talk about momentum, I'm talking about the weight of my arm putter unit. So when I'm using the weight of my arm putter unit to perform the task, and I don't want the hands, you know, I want it as a unit, meaning from the shoulder sockets down to the putter head, that means my grip has to be a specific tone as well. If my, if my hands are too soft on the putter, then everything starts to break down at the wrists. And, and now I've got more angles to contend with and, and more timing to contend with. But if I swing the arm putter unit from the shoulders down, I feel a certain amount of tone that I need to have in my grip for this unit to stay together. So I want it to be together from the shoulders all the way down to the putter head. So let's try that again. If I go a little bit too strongly, so let's say I want to see the ball, and you'll notice that distance control has everything to do with how the ball is going to roll in the hole. So the ball will always start to take the break about four to six feet away. So from here, I'm imagining the ball rolling, entering the hole at five o'clock, dropping into the hole without touching any other part of the hole. If I, if the, let's say the greens are a little bit slower and I want to take the break out, I want to see the ball enter over the top of the hole and like an evil Knievel jump, go all the way to the back of the hole and hit the back of the, of the, the cup on the way down. Not the back of the top of it, but the back of it on the way down, about halfway down. So if you look at how this ball will disappear now, so I feel if I let momentum do the work, it's going to enter a little bit closer to 6 o'clock. I see it dive off the end and hit the back of the hole on the way down. Woo! See how it hit the back of the hole right there? So that was just a hair more bold than I wanted, but it was really good. So I feel the weight of my arm putter unit, see the ball go off the front, hit the back of the hole on the way down. There we go. So that's the speed I was looking for. Now, if I wanted to die it in there, watch the difference in the way this ball enters the hole. So I'm gonna aim just a hair more right edge. If I let momentum do the work, does it feel like it's gonna enter the right edge of the hole? Well, let's say right edge of six o'clock, so about 5.30, and I want it to just die in the hole. See how the ball just curled in the left edge? You see how much break that was just before going in? But because it was soft enough, it was able to use the whole part of the hole to get in. So from back here, I'm imagining the ball entering at that speed. So I, my eyes are on a spot about four feet out, and I can see the ball rolling softly and entering the front part of the right edge of the hole. Does that fit? Yes, it does. Now that I've seen how it's supposed to roll in, 
Let momentum do its work. Oh, see how that dove in at the end there? Speed felt very good. Feel the weight of that arm putter unit. See the ball roll in the part of the hole that I want it to roll in on. Let momentum do its thing. There. That would have died into the hole right there. Very happy with that speed. You could see how that's a very touchy hole at the end. It takes a certain amount of timing. And these usually the, are the holes that you don't want to beat yourself up with when you're on the golf course. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed that. And we'll see you on the golf course with some more putting tips very soon, as soon as the snow leaves.